All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is renting a car for our trip. So your family has decided to rent a vehicle for your road trip. You have five choices of vehicle. You may drive the 2015 Ford Mustang, a 2015 smart car, a 2015 BMW Concept, it's a, Honda. a Batmobile, or a 1998 Honda Accord. Okay, here is the information that you currently have. This top row is what we're going to use to complete step seven. The top row is going to help us complete step seven. Okay, here is what we know. We know that the 2015 Ford Mustang is going to cost us $4.14 in gas for every 25 miles. Okay, so for every 25 miles we drive, we're going to spend $4.14 on gas. For every 25 miles we drive in a smart car, we're going to spend $2.62 on gas. Okay, so we're going to use that information to set up a proportion based on our own mileage of our road trip. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example for the 2015 Ford Mustang and pay close attention to what I tell you to write and what not to write because parts of these are going to be different for every person. All right, so let's start with the Ford Mustang. Everybody may write that because we're all going to start with that car. And actually, we have an extra spot in this table, so I lied. We can all do this example. But write example so you know that it's not part of yours, okay? Because we have five cars, one, two, three, yep, we have five extra spots. So this top one will just be our example. All right, so we know that the Ford Mustang, for every 25 miles, it costs $4.14. So we're going to set up a proportion. A proportion looks like two equal fractions. You guys know this. And we're going to fill in three pieces of information that we know and have an X with what we don't know. We're trying to figure out total cost. So we know our X is going to go somewhere where, the, where there's money. Okay? Um, so my first side, I'm going to use the $4.14 for every 25 miles. Okay, does that make sense where I got that information? So it costs $4.14 for every 25 miles. So I know I'm trying to find cost. That's what I don't know when I'm trying to fill in. So where the cost is on the top on the left, I'm going to put an X on the top on the right because cost is going to stay at the top. At the bottom, I have 25 miles. What other miles do we know from our last step? Yes. Well, how many miles did you drive in your trip? Look right here. Everybody look right here. If you have this filled in right now, guess what? You're ready to go to this step. If you haven't finished this part, you're not ready to do this step. You must have your total distance in miles from adding all of these up in order to do this. So, one person who did their homework is going to get to use this example as their own because they have the number of miles. So who has a total number of miles from the last step? Anybody have it? Nobody finished this page? Nobody finished right here. Total distance. Not a single person finished it? Well, then I guess I just have to make up a number. All right, I'm going to say Five. my trip was 3,500 miles. You're still on five. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do, my friends. No, we don't. 3,500 miles. So, ladies and gentlemen, look up here again. This number right here, I got from this total whoop, from the last page, okay? So when you go to do yours, that's where you're going to get that number from. 
I have a proportion. How do I solve a proportion? Cross multiply. So I have 25x equals $4.14 times 3,500 miles. So I would now get my calculator and I would do $4.14 times 3,500. And I get 14,490. How do I solve from here? I divide by 25. Good. So 14,490 divided by 25 will give me my final answer. of 579 dollars and 60 cents so that is how much it will cost to drive the ford mustang 3500 miles okay so for each of yours you are going to start over again with the ford mustang you can go ahead and fill this part in with me the smart car, the BMW concept, the Batmobile, and the Honda Accord. Can I switch up the for Okay. So for each of those, you're going to use the information from the top row of the table to set up your proportion. So for our Ford Mustang, we're going to keep it at $4.14 per 25 miles equals X over our total number of miles. For the smart car, what do you think I'm going to have my first fraction be? For the smart car? 262 over 25 miles again equals X over this is gonna stay the same on the bottom here for every single one based on your total number of miles from the previous page okay so that is step seven step eight cross out the word paragraph and write the word sentence. I just need you to tell me which car you chose and why. Did you choose it because it was the least expensive? Did you choose it because it was the coolest car? This needs to be filled out completely though before you make your decision. So step eight, write a sentence describing which vehicle you would rent and why. Okay? All right, I'm going to quickly go through the rest of it because the rest of it you can do on your own. So step nine, you get to decide how many days you will spend in each city and what you will do. Okay, so city one, you're going to write the name of the city right here. So... Whatever your first city is, Let's say you decide to spend five days there and you're gonna list some activities. You may use Google to look up things to do. I would like two to three per city activities. You need to be specific, okay? So it has to be something that is in that city. Don't just put, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna eat, okay? Be specific. Step 10. You can travel 800 miles per day by car. So you need to find out the number of days you will spend driving. Okay? So this is how many days you will spend actually doing things in the city. This is where you're going to say how many days are you going to drive. So if I'm driving 3,500 miles... which 
you are not, so don't use that number, but if that's my total number of miles, that's gonna tell me how many miles I can travel per day. So it's gonna tell me how many total days. This is how many I can travel per day. This is my total. That's gonna tell me how many days I'm driving. So this is your day is spent driving. This is total length of vacation. So all of the days you spend sightseeing plus the number of days you spend driving. Question? Nope, you may choose that. Okay? Step 11, you are going to calculate your hotel cost. You must stay in hotels. You must try to do a variety. Don't just say, I'm going to spend all days. You can't sleep in your car. All days in a five-star hotel just because you don't want to fill out this table. Okay? Spend one night, three nights six nights, whatever. So hotel rating, number of nights, cost per night, total cost. Question. Okay? All right. Step 12. For each day you spend driving, you will eat three meals. So you may choose where to eat your meals. Are you going to go to a fast food restaurant, a chain restaurant, or a fancy restaurant? Okay? How many of each? Maybe the days that you're driving, you're gonna do fast food, but the days you're at in the city, you're gonna do fancy restaurants, okay? You decide, fill in the table, okay? Step 13, this is important. You're gonna go back to the car page and read the table to answer this question. So know how, you know how we only use the top line for that, that last activity? This is where we're gonna use the other information. Okay? Then you get to calculate the total cost of trip. Look, they even told you what page this was on. So that's your total fuel, that's gas. This is your total rental car from step 13. This is your hotels, this is your food, and this is the total cost of your road trip, okay? So that should get you through the rest of the project. That does not mean you can't ask questions, but now you are able to work at your own pace. You have today, tomorrow, and we will decide about next week tomorrow. I will tell you, you will earn more days the more on task you are. Are there any questions? All right, you may get started.